The Concorde was a really cool airplane. It wasn't just any airplane. It was a technological marvel that captured the imagination of people all over the world. The sleek design, the speed, and the sheer audacity of its engineering made it a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition. It wasn't just a plane, it was a symbol of how smart and ambitious people can be. The Concorde represented the pinnacle of aviation technology, a testament to what could be achieved when the brightest minds came together with a common goal. It was a flying piece of art, admired by aviation enthusiasts and the general public alike. This super-fast jet could travel at twice the speed of sound. Imagine the thrill of breaking the sound barrier, a feat that was once thought impossible. The Concorde made it a reality, cruising at an astonishing speed of Mach 2, which is about 1,354 miles per hour. This was not just a leap in speed, it was a leap in our understanding of what was possible in aviation. It could cross the Atlantic Ocean in less than three and a half hours. This was a game changer for international travel. Before the Concorde, a transatlantic flight would take around seven to eight hours. The Concorde cut that time in half, making it possible to have breakfast in London and lunch in New York. It was a new era of speed and efficiency in air travel. People could fly from London to New York faster than it takes to watch a movie. Imagine boarding a plane, watching a film, and before the credits roll, you're landing at your destination. This was the magic of the Concorde. It made the world feel smaller, more connected, and more accessible. This speed was crazy fast back then. In an era where commercial flights were relatively slow, the Concorde's speed was nothing short of revolutionary. It was a glimpse into the future, showing us what was possible with advanced technology and innovative engineering. The Concorde showed us a future where trips took half the time. It was a vision of a world where distance was no longer a barrier, where people could travel quickly and efficiently across the globe. The Concorde was more than just a plane, it was a promise of a faster, more connected world. Its sleek pointy nose and triangle-shaped wings were super easy to recognize. The design of the Concorde was not just about aesthetics, it was about functionality. The delta wings and the droop nose were essential for its supersonic capabilities, making it one of the most recognizable aircraft in the world. It showed how powerful technology and new ideas could be. The Concorde was a testament to human innovation, a product of years of research, development, and collaboration between engineers, scientists, and designers. It was a symbol of what could be achieved when we pushed the boundaries of what was possible. For people who had enough money, flying on the Concorde was a really special experience. It wasn't just about speed, it was about luxury and exclusivity. The Concorde offered a level of comfort and service that was unmatched, making it the preferred choice for the elite and the wealthy. It was a chance to travel super fast and arrive feeling great. The Concorde experience was about more than just getting from point A to point B. It was about enjoying the journey, experiencing the thrill of supersonic flight, and arriving at your destination feeling refreshed and exhilarated. The Concorde wasn't just a way to travel. It was a symbol of luxury, being exclusive, and progress. It represented the height of sophistication and technological advancement, a status symbol for those who could afford it. Flying on the Concorde was not just about speed, it was about being part of an exclusive club. For a short time the Concorde made the world feel smaller, it connected people and places in ways that were previously unimaginable. The Concorde was a bridge between continents, bringing the world closer together, and making international travel more accessible and exciting. It connected continents really fast, and let people see the world in new and exciting ways. The Concorde opened up new possibilities for travel, allowing people to explore distant lands and cultures with ease. It was a gateway to new experiences and adventures. But sadly, the Concorde story has a tragic part. Despite its many achievements, the Concorde was not immune to tragedy. Its story is a reminder that even the most advanced technology can have its flaws and vulnerabilities. On July 25, 2000, everyone watched in horror as Air France Flight 4590 crashed soon after takeoff from the airport in Paris. The crash was a devastating blow to the Concorde's legacy, a tragic event that shook the aviation world and raised serious questions about the safety of supersonic travel. This terrible accident was the beginning of the end for the super-fast jet. The crash marked the start of a decline for the Concorde, as confidence in its safety was severely undermined. It was a turning point that led to the eventual retirement of the fleet. It made people question if super-fast planes were safe. The crash brought to light the inherent risks of supersonic travel, prompting a re-evaluation of the technology and its feasibility for commercial use. 
it was a sobering reminder of the challenges and dangers that come with pushing the boundaries of aviation. The crash of Air France Flight 4590 reminded us that even the coolest technology can have accidents. It was a stark reminder that no matter how advanced or impressive a piece of technology may be, it is not infallible. The Concorde story is a testament to human achievement, but also a cautionary tale about the limits and risks of technological innovation. July 25, 2000, started like any other day. The sun rose over Charles de Gaulle Airport, casting a golden hue over the tarmac. It was a typical bustling morning at one of the busiest airports in the world. At the airport in Paris, Air France Flight 4590 got ready to take off. The ground crew meticulously checked the aircraft, ensuring everything was in order. The Concorde, a marvel of aviation engineering, stood poised for its journey. This wasn't a normal flight, it was a special flight to New York City with 100 German tourists excited for their trip. They were looking forward to exploring the Big Apple, a city known for its vibrant culture and iconic landmarks. They didn't know something terrible was about to happen. As they boarded the plane their faces were filled with joy and anticipation, completely unaware of the impending disaster. The Concorde, known for its speed and luxury, sped down the runway. Its powerful engines roared to life, propelling the sleek aircraft forward with incredible force. Inside, passengers got comfortable in their seats, excited for the journey. The cabin was filled with chatter and laughter as they settled in, ready for the adventure ahead. The sleek plane took off, aiming for the sky. It ascended gracefully, a testament to human ingenuity and the marvels of modern technology. But in just a few moments, everything went wrong. The serene flight was about to turn into a nightmare. As the Concorde went faster, a terrible series of events started. A piece of debris on the runway had punctured one of the tires leading to a catastrophic chain reaction. The pilots saw a warning light, and the plane began to shake a lot. They quickly realized something was terribly wrong, and tried to assess the situation. Passengers and crew were tossed around and everyone got scared. The once joyful atmosphere turned to panic as the plane shook violently. The Concorde just moments ago a symbol of human achievement was now in big trouble. The aircraft struggled to maintain altitude, and the situation grew more dire by the second. Smoke poured from the left wing, easy to see from the ground. Onlookers watched in horror as the once majestic plane now trailed a plume of smoke. Alarms went off in the cockpit as the pilots tried to control the plane. They fought desperately to stabilize the aircraft, but the damage was too severe. Air France Flight 4590, instead of flying smoothly, was now fighting to stay in the air, a scary sight for everyone. The once proud Concorde was now a symbol of tragedy, its fate sealed by a series of unfortunate events. The Concorde's crash started with a piece of metal on the runway. This seemingly insignificant object would set off a catastrophic chain of events that no one could have predicted. A few minutes before Flight 4590 took off, another plane had lost a metal strip from its engine. This strip, unnoticed by the ground crew, lay in wait on the runway, a silent harbinger of disaster. This small piece of metal only 16 inches long would cause the disaster. It was a tiny fragment yet it held the power to bring down one of the most advanced aircraft of its time. As the Concorde sped up to take off, it ran over the metal, the aircraft, known for its speed and elegance, was now at the mercy of this small, sharp object. This seemed like a small thing, but it had a terrible effect. The metal strips sliced into one of the Concorde's tires, which were designed to withstand immense pressure and speed. One of the Concorde's tires, built to be super strong, was punctured by the metal. The tire exploded. The force of the explosion was so powerful that it sent debris flying in all directions. The explosion sent a big piece of the tire flying towards the left wing. This wasn't just a piece of rubber. It was going incredibly fast and hit a very important part of the plane, a fuel tank. The impact was devastating. The fuel tank broke open and jet fuel, which is very flammable, started leaking out. The fuel, now exposed to the open air, created a highly dangerous situation. The fuel tank broke open and jet fuel, which is very flammable, started leaking out. The leaking fuel quickly turned into a deadly hazard, spreading across the runway and the aircraft. This was a turning point. The small piece of metal had started a chain reaction that would lead to a fiery crash. The once majestic Concorde was now engulfed in flames, a tragic end to a series of unfortunate events. 
The leaking fuel caught fire from a spark and quickly became a huge fire. Flames covered the left wing of the Concorde. The fire spread quickly, burning the plane's engines. The heat and flames made the engines stop working. One by one the engines on the left wing failed. The Concorde started to tilt dangerously. The pilots tried to fix it, but the plane was too hard to control. The Concorde was losing altitude fast, and the fire was still burning. The pilots tried their best, but the damage was too much. The Concorde was going down fast. Only two minutes after takeoff, the burning Concorde crashed into a hotel near the airport. Everyone on board 109 people and 4 people in the hotel died. The crash shocked the world. So, let's talk about why it happened. A few things contributed to the Concorde's problems. First, the cost of fuel went up a lot, and that hurt the Concorde. Then, people started to worry about the environment. Noise pollution and air pollution were becoming big problems. Also, the Concorde was very expensive to maintain. All of these things made it hard to keep the Concorde flying. It's a complicated story, but these were some of the main reasons. The terrible crash of Air France Flight 4590 in July 2000 was really bad for the Concorde. Investigators found that a piece of metal on the runway had caused the tire to burst, which led to the fire. This made everyone check the safety of the Concorde and make changes, but the damage was done. Even though they tried to make the Concorde safer, it was too expensive and bad for the environment to keep flying. In 2003, the airlines that flew the Concorde decided to stop using it. The last Concorde flight was on October 24, 2003, which was the end of an era. It was sad to see the Concorde go, but it was just too difficult to keep it in the air. Even though the Concorde doesn't fly anymore, people still remember it. It's a symbol of how creative people can be and how we always want to improve things. You can see Concords in museums around the world. The Concorde also helped engineers learn how to build even better superfast planes in the future. The Concorde story is both happy and sad. It was an amazing airplane that showed what's possible. But it also had problems and didn't last very long. The Concorde reminds us of the great things people can do and the risks of trying new things. We remember the people who made the Concorde and everything we 